Welcome back to the Black Jersey. My name's Max and I'm the host of this channel. Um, I promised at the start of this year that I was going to give you guys a bit of an update about this channel every three months or so, every quarter of 2022. But uh, this time I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to go into um, the backstory of the Black Jersey and uh, describe how everything came to be, how this channel came into existence, and I'm going to work in my uh, quarter of a year update into this video, if you know what I mean. So first off, um, I grew up in Hawke's Bay, so no, I'm not a Crusaders fan for all the people in the comments who get grumpy with me for being pro Mwanga <laughs> because they think I'm a Crusaders fan. It's not the case. I was uh, born in Lower Hutt, uh, Wellington, and I moved to Hawke's Bay when I was two years old with my mum and dad. And uh, yeah, growing up, I enjoyed it, but we didn't exactly have a lot Mum and Dad sometimes had to skip meals for me and my brother to get a bit of feed. Nowadays, it's totally different. Finances all good for Mum and Dad, but me, myself, not exactly the best situation right now. I am at university, and I'm in my third year of that right now, although I am luckily married, so that's one thing I don't have to worry about for my future. My life's awesome. But yeah, um, sport wasn't exactly a thing for me growing up as a kid, but when I was either 8 or 9 years old, we were at the Dubai Sevens, Jonah Lomu was promoting it, my mum got a photo of me and my brother with Jonah Lomu, I was like, oh I want to be big and strong like this guy, so when the 2011 Rugby World Cup rolled around, we'd moved back to New Zealand, and uh, that World Cup pretty much got me hooked on rugby, and all through high school I kept watching the All Blacks every year. Um, 2015, I went absolutely hype after we won a second World Cup in a row, and I was just like, man, um, I love this game so much. I played my first game of it 14, and um, I guess the highlight of playing rugby at school was um, my final year of school in 2016, just um, in my last game at um, high school, scoring a try in front of my school and stuff. Um, but yeah, I didn't exactly get the most out of it post-school as I took a few too many blows to the head, so I played my last game at 17 years old. Um, dur during the lead-up to the 2019 Rugby World Cup, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to start off a uh, all-black fan page, just um, stir the pot a little bit, make some funny memes, see if people enjoy that. It was all just for a laugh because the page that the Black Jersey currently is had previously been used for a couple comedy skits and stuff like that that didn't really get any traction. So I was like, you know what, I'll keep this page, I'll start it fresh, um, turn it into a new theme, and kaboom, the Black Jersey um, got a little bit of traction. It was named official All Black Fans at the time. I then just changed my name simply to the All Black Fan page as some of my earlier viewers of this channel may know, as I wasn't entirely sure what moniker to uh, adopt for this wee movement, plus I didn't want to be confused as the actual All Blacks page, because those who aren't the best with the English language can sometimes get a bit mixed up with things like that. But yeah, guys, um, I was quite surprised at the traction it gained. As you can see, here's a meme over here I made about Canada beating the All Blacks. At the time, Tyler Ardron, who was with the Chiefs, was Canada's captain. He liked the meme, and I was like, oh, yo, I can actually get attention to like players and things. So I began posting on the account more often, and I'd got over um, a few thousand followers by the end of 2019. It was pretty terrible posts. Like As you can see, it's just basic stuff made with me, Medic, just um, stirring the pot, having a laugh with other people and things like that. And um, eventually, around the time that I started dating the girl that's now my wife, um, it reached 5,000 followers on Instagram. And uh, by the end of 2020, as the international season would roll around, I'd <laughs> stirred the pot even more. Had a couple players follow me. Had one player block me because he found a meme too spicy. Um, and yeah, I was like, yo, I can actually build a brand off this. When I first started the Instagram page, I was watching Gareth Mason, Squidge, 
Haka time rugby, these kinds of people all the time. Whereas in 2020, I started watch, uh, watching rather rugby analyst. Um, Haka time rugby run by Zach followed me back on Instagram. And I was like, oh, awesome. This is so cool. My favorite YouTuber just followed me back. Yo, meme, bro. Um, I had a yarn to Zach and uh, he gave me a bit of encouragement to get into YouTube. At the time, I wasn't totally confident. Like in this video here, in which he had me as a guest on this channel, this is before I started my own channel, you can probably tell from my voice, like, I wasn't totally confident, I was like, oh no, the camera's rolling, and it was only really the lower register of my voice that I was using, because I was, oh, I don't know, I was like nervous or something, because I hadn't really been involved with this kind of stuff in a long time, like, I did drama at school, I was in my local youth theatre group that went on a tour to Australia two years in a row, I did things like that, but a few things in my personal life had kind of made my confidence take a bit of a hit around the time that um the rugby, like a few years or so before the Rugby World Cup in 2019 started, if you get what I mean, just trying not to kill my life story, um, but yeah, it, it was so cool to have things like that happen, but in 2021, um, the whole thing with Reels was introduced to Instagram, whereas the YouTube channel grew quite slowly, but it was getting there. The old video would get a few thousand views and so. Um, and I was like, crap, this Feed the Backs page is stealing my audience. Legend of Marty Banks has come along from Facebook to Instagram. Oh, I gotta do something. So I tried to start learning design basics. I started paying for Memeatic to make more professional looking memes and things like that. And... Um, by the end of 2021, I guess I was a bit burned out and disappointed, like, the YouTube channel had reached a thousand subscribers by the Lions Tour, and I'd monetized it, which was real awesome, I was just a bit disappointed just in the lead up to my wedding, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take some time out of the public eye, I'm gonna enjoy my, uh, we honeymoon with my with my wife now, I'm going to have a good wedding, things like that, I came back towards the end of 2021 with a fresh mind, and I'm like, oh yeah, all right, so I'm doing um, screen production as the major for my degree, that's why I've got a professional microphone, camera, and things like that for freelancing work, you know what, I'm going to learn design, so I uh, started learning how to use Photoshop earlier this year, around the same time that um, I published my website, um, I worked with some of my focus group, like Vincent, Troy, uh, Mitch, all those kinds of guys, you know who you are, <laughs> thank you to Kitty as well, for example, um, on that website, and uh, I've just kind of got that website going to make bonus content for you guys, so I don't burn myself out constantly making videos like in 2021, and uh, with Photoshop in my arsenal now, I guess I can post so much more content as um, it's given me the freedom to... I guess, uh, change things up, make things look more professional, and uh, pump out information to you guys quicker, as um, everything's all on my laptop nowadays, Instagram's now allowing you to post from a laptop, so that's real awesome, um, and I guess the 2022 calendar year has been awesome for me so far, um, I've got some stats to read off my phone to you guys, yes, I've got a new phone since the last update, and, and I'm so happy and I'm so thankful to all of you guys for supporting me. Um, hold on, I'm just trying to find all the things, guys. Uh, I don't script my videos, as you can probably tell. But yeah, Instagram, in the last 90 days since I posted my last update, um, my Instagram audience has grown by 21.3%. So that's uh, 2,893 new followers in total. So I'm now up to just uh, under 16,500. I'm able to, I've been able to reach a million people in the last 90 days, and that's such a blessing, like, God, mate, if you're listening, don't ever let me take this stuff for granted, um, engaged, over 80k accounts, um, phone's not moving, but yeah, it's just been amazing, like, one particular post reached 150k, stories are doing really well, over 7 million impressions on Instagram, and I'm genuinely shocked because I live in Hawke's Bay, a lot of the rugby players who come up from here, they come from nothing, so I'm really, really grateful to everything that's going on, guys. Um, the Black Jersey's all-time views have pretty much doubled since that last update, too. I'm closing in on 500,000, 500k, all-time YouTube views. 
um, because I've had over 200k in the last 90 days. Thank you guys. Um, my subscriber counts nearly doubled. I've gained 1.4k in the last 90 days. Thank you so much. Uh, nearly a million impressions in the last uh, month or so on YouTube. Um, the annoying thing is though, only 10% of you guys are subscribed. Because <laughs> it says 18.2k returning viewers and 56.3 unique viewers. Imagine if all those unique viewers subscribed. Please do. Bless your soul if you do so. Um, interestingly, a lot of my audience seems to be older than me. I'm 22 years old. I was born on 31st um, of December, sorry, 1999. So I'm in the bottom category over here. The, the most of my audience is aged... 45 to 54 so 19.9% .9 of my audience is around the same age as my parents I just want to see a, bit, a few more female viewers though as I have started to cover the mighty black ferns as of late um, good to see that um, my top geography though is New Zealand and Australia because um, obviously I live in the southern hemisphere it's good to see people from my home supporting me which is like real cool but um, I, I'm honestly shocked at the growth that's been going on for the black jersey and perhaps the icing on the cake for that's been the collaborations. Um, I've done live streams with, um, Austin from Bok Memes, now Ball Carrier SA in the past, the Rugby Centre and I are always collaborating on stuff. Um, but recently a few more things have happened on YouTube. Rugby Ultimate Team, Carl who runs there is a genuine ass bloke. We recorded a video but we just couldn't get it done in time to upload but... Um, hopefully I'll be able to see him at the test match this weekend, whereas um, Haka Time Rugby run by Zach has returned, it's come full circle, now we both have channels and we've been able to collaborate again, which has been so dope, last year I reached out to Rugby Analyst, he's a guy I've disagreed with on a lot of talking points, but one thing I will say about him, there is not a bad thing in the world I can say about the guy's character and he articulates himself very well, so last year, I kind of reached out to him to see if he'd be keen to collaborate on something. Um, it kind of fell through, but this time, um, he's got a podcast with Zach from Hucker Time, and I'm really grateful that those two invited me on the podcast to talk a bit about uh, an All Blacks autopsy, as uh, rugby analyst titled it. And so I'm really grateful for uh, those two for um, inviting me on, and for uh, Hucker Time Rugby Zach once more inviting me on, now that I've actually... I don't know, remembered how to articulate myself for this channel, <laughs> um, things like that, so yeah, it's been bloody awesome in the last uh, few months since I made this last update, and you know, considering all those years back when I was eight or nine years old, meeting Jonah Lomu, um, I don't think I'd be able to reach all these people, I, I couldn't have even known anything about the internet, like I didn't have a computer until I was like seven years old or something, so it's honestly just been massive, guys, and I'm genuinely so grateful. And um, as the people who have met me in person in fixtures in the last few months know, yes, I do behave exactly the same in real life as I do in these videos. Um, I'm just a bit strict if you get on the wrong side of me, if you know what I mean, because, you know, children are watching. So uh, to all the people who are making comments such as this one, thanks for encouraging me to make better content. Uh, thank you to God for blessing me with uh, the reach, and thank you to you guys for getting me all the way through university, because this is my, pretty much my main source of income and things like that, so that's why I have to pump videos out constant, 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 um, and it's been massive, like, honestly, thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys, and once again, a big thank you to my patrons, um, I'm gonna sign out now, and uh, go the Māori All Blacks, they're about to play in a few hours, let's go.